Sorry, the phone is dancing on me here, people. Sorry about that, people. I wonder if I should start over. I know I'll just leave it. The sun is too nice to lose a minute of it. The sky is marvelous. It was a very rough night. Look at all this silt, all this muck that has been washed in here. The waves are pounding all night. They're down quite a ways from what they were crashing here. And obviously churning up all the debris. Some of our pilgrims already have gone back. The sunset, sunrise is over for them. But we're going to enjoy every moment of it here. there they apparently they affect the Facebook measurings here the algorithms and help more people to be exposed to this little conversation in which you all participate each morning thank you for that Great clear reflection this morning. Almost as good as the reality. Morning. So what's going to happen with the world? What's the future hold? Would you like to know? And what would you like to know? We long to know what's going to happen tomorrow. But maybe it's good we don't know. We do know a few things. The readings today are quite dramatic. also a great sense of suffering and injustice in the world in the macro picture in the big picture but also in the in small details in small moments of relationships sometimes a great sense of injustice imagine the battle that was fought here in 67 the Romans suppressing a rebellion the end of a time so many rebellions so many wars earthquakes 
people who use this stairwell here to get water, to do work with these pools. What happens in life was a long morning and one harvest is done, another harvest is about to be fi finished. What's the harvest of time? What's coming? And the trees will be shaken for their fruit. And our lives will be put through the test, the sieve, what will last. Here the moon is very high today. to show you a big harvest here of olives, an amazing harvest of olives. It's in full swing. It would be nice if the workers <laughs> coincided at the same time when our sunrise stroll in Cheshire so you could see them in action. So look what we have here. Look at this pile of olives. And this tree has been pretty, pretty rattled. All the olives are down here now. Look at this people, an amazing, amazing harvest. And this will be turned into olive oil and our pilgrims will be able to, to bring some home. What will be the harvest of our lives? What will be the harvest of the world? talk of earthquakes and things that scare us, tsunamis, revolutions. Many people are very sensitive today to these topics and want to interpret immediate happenings in the definitive sense. And actually that would be very wise to do if it were done wisely. That's the great message of scripture is to be, to stand fast, to, to not be perturbed, to not lose our heads. It's amazing, there is a huge process in motion since the foundation of the world. that process a huge amount of injustice and suffering and people are being molded and shaped there's the present moment and there's the eternal eternal duration the present moment and the eternal duration Sometimes students have to sacrifice fun things in order to prepare for exams because the exams have a long-term impact in life. just exams and studies and academics, the formation of our whole person, 
little decisions we make each day of kindness, of faithfulness, of generosity, no matter what's happening around us, they're the decisions of great people. Decisions of justice, decisions for peace. Decisions for kindness, for helpfulness. These were flourishing thistles, but their time is up. Their job is done. The next generation of seed has been formed and sent out. And time will recycle these into the earth in one way or another. In a year or two, there'll be very little of these plants to find. And our civilizations keep moving as well. It's a bigger picture. And things wear out and it's over. The time is over, the time is up. And that bit of culture, that bit of civilization falls away and decays and becomes the object of history books and museums. To learn to make the choice for the long run and that's where our faith gives us a vision that transcends all time into eternity and that's our great calling we're made for eternal life and here you have a lush plant that's reaching its heyday and others that have passed their heyday and are depleted and dying and recycling and we're called for everlasting life. And the wise person lives that way and knows that God has this world in his charge. If he made this tiny little flower and created and designed it and scientists are still studying how it all works. Brilliant scientists with amazing technologies to find out the intricacies and the marbles and probably these plants have amazing qualities and resources for our life amazing gifts that are hidden there for our good in the midst of all the, these upheavals and storms to know that I am per eternally loved and that my calling is to eternally love, to eternally enjoy the vision of love forever and to, re to help other people into that victory of love. Look at all this debris here. All this washed in here last night in the stormy sea churning up all this vegetation that has run its time the Lord is coming to judge the earth to rule the earth with justice Stand fast, don't worry about what's coming. Just do your part, like Paul working hard. Like the prophet Malachi says, it's time of difficulty coming, but stand fast, stand fast in faith. It's worthwhile, people, the long-term thinking. We rush for the joys of the moment, for the satisfactions of the moment, for the, the justice we want to make happen in the moment, but that's not the way this life works. Many times it's the injustice that triumphs in the moment. But the long term is something very different. God bless you. I hope you work for the long term. Have a blessed Sunday. The Lord is risen.
He is risen indeed. And there's a whole new life forever. So it's worthwhile today to be kind, to forgive, to reconcile, to do good. See you later, alligators. Don't get frantic about all the prognosis. You kind of know what it is already. <laughs> God bless you.